And there are these normal numbers for blood sugar and triglycerides. Now, what foods are bad for you? Well, generally, foods that are heavy in cream or pastries, desserts and processed foods, fried foods, most of the foods you'll find at any restaurant in Boca, <laughs> greasy, saucy, and creamy foods, foods found at weddings, and anything beige, brown, or white. Now, this might ask, lead you to ask, what's good? Well, here's the cardiologist's diet. If it tastes good, spit it out. So what can you eat? Unsweetened water, low-fat celery, and tofu marinated in, in Metamucil. Now, my wife insisted that I put this slide in. She's a, a, a very interested in diet and healthy eating and has been her whole life. And she likes to talk about this concept that's actually been in the news about two years ago of eating by the rainbow with phytochemicals, whereby different colors represent different nutrients and vitamins that are found in food. And if you eat by the rainbow, you often get a, a nice variety of vitamins and minerals and healthy foods. So fresh fruits and vegetables are typically good. Bread is not necessarily bad if it's multi-grain bread. Fish and many other foods if prepared properly. In other words, you can take the healthiest fish in the world and uh, broil it in butter and it's not going to be so good for you. Flavoring with herbs rather than salt. And nuts are typically on the better side. But generally, I don't like to eliminate anything from a patient's diet. I say that anything in moderation is probably okay. Now, one thing you've heard a lot about lately are these um, diets that have become popular like the Atkins diet or the South Beach diet. Now, without going into too much detail, I'm not a big fan of the Atkins diet because it's very high in, in uh, fat content while eliminating carbohydrates. But that's a very absolute type of way of thinking about things. There are good carbohydrates and bad carbohydrates, good fats and bad fats. On the carbohydrate kick, the South Beach diet took this concept a little bit further and likes to talk about what's called the glycemic index. Now the glycemic index basically states that anything that causes any type of sugar or carbohydrate that causes a rapid rise in blood sugar has a high glycemic index. The problem with these foods is that it then causes a rapid fall in blood sugar and you become hungry again very soon. Carbohydrates with a low glycemic index have a slow rise in a steady sugar level. Examples of carbohydrates with a low glycemic index include peanuts, asparagus, well you can read the list, but basically some fruits, vegetables, nuts. And this, by the way, is taken right off the South Beach Diet website. Foods with a high glycemic index include unrefined sugar, or um, refined sugar rather, white bread, corn chips, jelly beans, obviously, are almost pure sugar, pretzels, which don't have a lot of fat, but tend to promote this high, quick rise in sugar and, and quick, rapid fall, potatoes and dates. Now, I don't want to get into cholesterol medicines in too much.